one set of studies looked at the brains of cab drivers in London and compared them to other people's. Where to, Governor? Now, the thing about London is that the streets don't have numbers for the most part. Carnaby, Lester, Each Worthington, street has a different name. Whitechapel, Piccadilly. So, finding your way around is challenging. Well, the scientists measured the area of the brain that deals with memory for three-dimensional space. And they found that this area was distinctly bigger in the cabbies than in other people. And the longer they had been on the job, the bigger that brain region had become. So all that navigating actually built up that area of the brain. Another set of studies looked at the brain activity of people who learned to play a musical instrument. Now, when you play a musical instrument well, your fingers have to do some very complex movements. And directing those movements takes up brain space. Well, it turns out that when people learn to play the piano, the brain areas that control the fingers actually grew. All of these studies were done in grown-ups. Of course, at your age, developing your brain is even easier. I know there must be an experiment for this. <laughs> you read my mind. Were you peeking at my EEG printout? Hmm? <laughs> the poor virtual brain is a math ignoramus. Can't make change at the grocery store. Can't balance his checkbook. You know. <laughs> Click on Experiment 6 and let's teach the brain some math.